Ever feel like you're starring in your own movie, but it's stuck in the before scenes? Yeah, same. But guess what? Today, we're switching to the after. You know, the part where you walk out like a whole new person and everyone's like, wait, who's that? Stick with me, and by the end of this video, you'll be glowing so hard, people might need sunglasses around you. And no, I'm not talking about 12-step routines or living in the gym. This glow up is easy, fun, and 100% you. Let's dive in. Segment 1. Skin is in. First things first, your skin. If you want to change the way you look, you need that glow that says, I woke up like this. And no, I'm not talking about rubbing your face with 12 different serums or raiding a skincare aisle like you're at an all-you-can-eat buffet. Instead, let's simplify. Hydrate, inside and out. Drink water like your ex is dehydrating your soul. A hydrated face will plump up like a juicy grape instead of looking like a sad raisin. Exfoliate, you're not a snake. You don't need to shed your skin all at once. Twice a week is enough to reveal that fresh layer underneath. Moisturize, find a moisturizer that makes your skin feel like velvet, not a frying pan. See, instant glow. And no, it's not Photoshop, it's hydration and a little bit of confidence. Segment two, hair, don't care? Oh, you should. Ever noticed how hair can literally change your entire look? It's like an instant facelift, but without the scary needles or bank breaking price tag. If your hair looks good, you feel like Beyonce. If it's bad, well, let's just say there are hats for a reason. So, what's the secret? Three simple things. Shape it. Whether you're rocking long hair, a bob, or going full buzz cut, make sure it's styled to enhance your face shape. Pissed. Check out my other video on finding your face shape for the perfect haircut. Condition like a pro, your conditioner shouldn't leave your hair feeling like soggy noodles. Look for nourishing ingredients that give your strands that silky, I just left the salon look. Go easy on the heat. Your hair is not a toaster, so treat it with some love. Heat protection is your best friend if you don't want your hair to fry into oblivion. Segment three, fashion, but make it personal. Now let's talk fashion. Changing the way you look doesn't mean going out and buying the entire Zara catalog. Nope, it's all about making what you already have work for you. Let me break it down. Tailor your fit. Baggy clothes are comfy, but if they make you feel like you're hiding from the world, it's time to adjust. Find pieces that highlight your favorite features. Accessorize like a pro. Accessories are like the spice in your fashion soup. Add too much and it's chaos, too little and it's bland. Find balance. A statement necklace, cute scarf, or fun shoes can totally elevate a simple look. Confidence is key, you can wear anything, but if you're not wearing it with confidence, it's game over. Wear that outfit like you're walking the runway at Paris Fashion Week. Dress for yourself, not for trends. The right outfit can make you feel like you're starring in your own movie. And spoiler alert, you're the main character. Segment 4, the little things that make a big difference. All right, so we've talked about skin, hair, and clothes, but don't sleep on the details. It's often the smallest changes that can make the biggest impact. Eyebrows, these bad boys frame your face. Get them groomed, but remember, we're not aiming for angry birds. Nails, you don't need to have a full-on manicure, but clean, trimmed nails are a game changer. Bonus points for a pop of color. Posture, stand tall. Confidence starts from the way you carry yourself. You want to exude. I've got my life together, even if you're just binge watching Netflix. All of these little tweaks add up. Before you know it, you'll be turning heads, not because you did something extreme, but because you're owning who you are. Segment five, teeth, smile like you mean it. Your smile is one of your best accessories. Seriously, nothing says I'm glowing up like a bright, happy grin. Whiten up. If you feel like your teeth are looking a little, nah, try a teeth whitening routine. It can make a huge difference in your overall look. Segment six, fitness, moving for the glow. Okay, before you run away, hear me out. You don't need to become a gym rat to glow up, but a little movement can make a huge difference in how you look and feel. Get moving, even if it's just a walk or a five minute dance party in your room, moving your body boosts your glow. You'll be radiating that I feel amazing energy. Consistency over intensity. You don't need to go hard, just go often. 
Little changes build up over time. Segment 7. Confidence. The ultimate glow-up tool. Okay, this is the most important part of any glow-up confidence. You can have all the best tips in the world, but if you're not feeling yourself, none of it matters. Own it. Walk into every room like you're supposed to be there. People notice confidence, and that's the real glow up. Positivity reflects beauty. When you feel good inside, you glow outside. So be kind to yourself, love your journey, and let that confidence shine. Well, there you have it, the official glow up blueprint. By this point, you're basically a superhero, but instead of a cape, you've got killer skin, fab hair, and confidence for days. Remember, you don't need a total life overhaul to glow up. Just a few tweaks here and there, and boom, you're serving looks, catching vibes, and living your best life. So go out there, flaunt that glow up like you just walked off a magazine cover, and remember, it's all about feeling good in your skin. And if anyone asks how you did it, just send them my way. We'll spread the glow up gospel together. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And if you didn't, well, you clearly need this glow up even more. Catch you in the next one, Glow Getters. Now, go shine like the fabulous star you are.